Um, so this is tonight's project. I'll move my wine out of the way. Um, I wanted to tell you just quick about it. My um, upline, Marissa, sent me uh, a thing that was really similar to this. Of course, she used different papers, um, but it's the cutest little thing. It's just a little notebook holder. Um, and when I, well, so I ordered these little notebooks and they just came in today. And, um, oh, no, that's okay. Is everything okay on your end? I don't know if I'm having technical difficulties or, um, well, I guess I'll, I'll keep going. Hopefully you're still there. Um, so anyway, so I ordered these little notebooks because I thought this was a really good idea and they arrived today. And, um, I was talking to my husband, Michael, and I said, yeah, I said, I need to sit down and figure out what I'm going to do for my Facebook live on, um, tomorrow. And he goes, you mean tonight? And I said, oh, is tonight Wednesday? So I don't, I am just totally mixed up with my uh, day. So I almost didn't have something. I thought, well, it's a good thing these came in. Cause then I'm like, I know exactly what I'm gonna do for my Facebook Live tonight. So um, this is about as complicated as it gets, this little die cut. And it's really not that complicated. Um, everything else is really simple um, to put together. So. Let's go ahead and I'll go over the supplies quick and then I'll get started on this. It should only, I don't know, maybe take 15, 20 minutes at the most. So we should be done by about 7.30. So, okay. Um, so I used this really pretty, um, very vanilla satin ribbon and it's a quarter of an inch. And then um, in the Eastern Palace Suite, we get these little uh, cute tassels. So we're gonna use this green tassel. In fact, I might actually, Tranquil Tide, sorry, I, I probably should call it by what it is. Um, so we're gonna use one of these, and I'll set this over here somewhere where I won't forget it. And um, I brought out these doilies. I keep forgetting that, that we even have them, but they're the delicate white doilies, and they're, uh, I was gonna look and see how many come in a package, but, oh, 24 come in a package. So there's quite a few to play with. And then the Eastern Beauty stamp set and the Eastern Medallions Thin Lids dies are what we use, along with the Layering Circles Frame Lids dies. And um, I just used the Trinkle Tide stamp pad, the ink. It's the only ink we used on this. A little bit of Wink Estella. Um, and then I used the Fine Tip Blue Pen to glue my medallion down. And I'm almost embarrassed to bring these out, but um, these are the punches that I have. And, you know, they work, they're older, um, but I don't wanna buy new ones yet. So the, we're using the one inch and the three quarters of an inch. And then I also used this, and this pad is a five by eight. So, Trying to think, let's go ahead and bring out our, oh, you know what? I wanted to go over these quick. I promise it won't take too long. So the size paper that we are going to need, the Tranquil Tide is gonna be an eight and a half by 10 and three quarters. So you're just gonna cut off a quarter of an inch on this. And then you're gonna need a two and a quarter by two and a quarter of that. The Dapper Denim is a three and a half by three and a half, a two by five, and then a scrap to punch out a circle. Very Vanilla is three and a half by three and a half and then a small scrap for stamping and cutting out on. This is actually bigger than what we need. And then um, the Eastern Palace Designer Series paper, you're gonna need a five by eight and a quarter. Yes, five by eight and a quarter. A one and three quarters, oops, sorry, wrong. This is two inches by it's just a hair short of five inches. I think 15 sixteenths because it fits just perfectly over the top of that. And then this one is one and three quarters by five. All right, so let's get back to bringing out the big shot and we're gonna make our cuts first. Make sure this is 
in the camera's view, so hang on with me a second so I can make sure it's being viewed. Okay, perfect. Um, yes, that's perfect. It's actually more than what I normally show, but um, so we are going to cut out using these dies and we're going to layer them. So the circle from your framelits dies is going to go just outside the, uh, the medallion. And you want it to be fairly even. For the life of me, I cannot get it perfectly even every time, but, um, well, and then it moves, so. <laughs> Maybe it's more user error than anything. So I'm just gonna stand up and try and see if I can eyeball this, and hopefully I'm not in the way. If I am, you guys will see that I'm in my pajamas. Um, sorry about this, it's just kinda not wanting to seat right for me. So I think I'm just going to move this and cut it by itself. Okay, I think that's it. Well, it moved. Get that seated. Usually in my videos, I fast forward through this part. There's just such a thin line that you want it perfect. Okay, I'm going to leave that as it is. And then Now I know why sometimes it does that, because it just moves. So we're going to just roll this through a few times, just to make sure we get all of the intricate cuts. And then let's go back and cut out the large scallop from here. And then I'm going to grab out this one, and we're going to cut out that smaller circle with there. At least those don't take as long setting up and placing down. Oops. Oh my goodness. All right, bear with me. There, get that going through. two seconds I'm going to move this out of the way and we're going to stamp quick on here um, and of course I don't have my stamp out well I do yes no maybe so where'd I put it oh goodness I think I set it aside I did hold on one second I'm not leaving you permanently hang on I just had to run over it. I had put my um, my stuff away and threw that block in there with it. So we're gonna take in what is, oh, and this is in the dapper denim, so hold on again. I'm usually a little bit more organized than this. I apologize. First of all, I didn't think it was, oh good. Oh, that's good to know, Linda. Makes me feel better. Usually I have everything just set out and ready to go, but I don't know. What's not, isn't that pretty? I just love the way that stamps out. Such a sharp image. Okay, so we're going to take this back out again. And then, I promise I'm still here. I'm just cleaning off my big shot from the last one. I feel like I didn't come in as close as I usually do in my video, but hopefully you guys can see everything just okay. So we're gonna go ahead and just um, cut this out quick. If I can get it lined up. Hopefully it won't take as long as that last one. Okay. I can't talk and do this all at the same time. It's like, you know, walking and chewing gum. Um, all right, so we'll get all of these set out here. And then this is 
the medallion once we cut it. And um, you'll have to poke out some of the holes and everything. So it doesn't take too long. It'd probably take less time if I had that little fancy dancy brush that they have that goes along with it. So this is what your medallion, and I don't know if you guys can see, you know, I was really trying hard to make sure I had even all the way around, but this side got a little bit um, more narrow than this side, but I guess it still looks pretty enough to be able to use. However, I went ahead and I cut one out ahead of time because I used my Wink of Stella to brush on it. And instead of sitting here for, you know, five, ten minutes, or well, maybe five minutes while I brushed, but basically I just took my Wink of Stella and brushed over the whole entire medallion to get this really pretty um, iridescent look. So that's what we're going to use for that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring this back into view so I can actually remember what I did. All right. Um... Our piece of paper, our large one for the cover, is going to get scored, and it's super simple to score. It is five and a quarter, because you're just creating that that uh, binding, basically, or not binding, but the back of it, and then five and a half. And I'm just going to redo that one, because that five and a half one didn't turn out too good. There a reason why it's not? Well, if it could go wrong tonight, it's going to go wrong. Hopefully you guys can bear with me on this one. I'll try and rescore that other one too. There. I think I actually got it in the groove that time. Alright, and so then we're just going to take this and you're going to take your bone folder and give it a real good crease on both of those. This one I found it was a little bit easier to kind of start creasing it and then it just came in because it's so close to the other one. All right. So I think I'm going to go ahead and before I attach it to my notebook, I'm just going to go ahead and start adhering our papers to it. So I'm using my snail adhesive, and you want to be, you know, pretty liberal with this, um, especially, you know, if it's going to be used and carried around. Um, I would definitely put more than you probably normally would. And that's just going to go on the front here. And I think I got that pretty good on there. Hope you're having a good night, Linda. I'm happy that you could take some time out and hang with me. We're kind of a, lo a little group tonight. So then this piece is just gonna go maybe an inch or so up from the bottom. And then you're just gonna put your DSP on top of that. You know, when I first saw this paper pack, this was probably one of my least favorite pieces of paper, you know, as far as seeing it in the full 12 by 12. But I have really enjoyed um, playing with this one. It's really become one of my favorite pieces. So, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use our fine tip glue pen on this and then I'm just gonna let it dry when I finish the rest of the stuff. My last one I used um, a regular adhesive and I found that it kept coming up on me and I didn't use the snail adhesive because um, I had my big gun which that actually has some pretty decent adhesive on it and uh, for some reason it keeps wanting to pop up. So I'm just going to cover the top of this and then you're also going to want to um, cover this top part here with adhesive. So I'm just going to throw glue all over this. Hopefully it'll stay down. Oh good, glass of wine and ideas.
Sounds like a good night. You know, I always start off with my glass of wine, but then I never drink it during my Facebook Live because I'm so busy chatting and working and that I just completely forget um, to drink out of it. I'm going to go ahead and grab my big gun for this. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it um, all over the back side of this. And then I'm going to use this adhesive to, um, to, to uh, adhere down the rest of the notebook. So I'm just going to pull that over so it's fairly taut on there. I'm not sure why that's fighting me so bad and wanting to come up. The other thing I, I uh, would recommend maybe is that red line adhesive to make sure because that's a pretty hefty duty adhesive as well. Um, so I'm going to let that dry. Oh, good. Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just feel all out of sorts tonight. Um, so let's go ahead and start. I'm not sure where the doily went that I had, but I have here. Excuse me. My allergies have kind of been kicking in. It's been, oh, it's been kind of chilly here. I was going to tell you guys, um, these doilies stick to each other. So there's quite a few in here, but um, <clears throat> one of the last projects that I did, I accidentally glued on two. Um, so uh, I didn't find it out, find out that I had glued on two until one popped off. So, all right, I'm just going to take my, I might have to poke another hole in this. Kind of, the fine tip glue pen is awesome, but if you don't keep the little um, pen thingy that comes in it, it kind of has a tendency to want to clog up. There, that's a lot better. <clears throat> so let's put this down and it's just going to go kind of over here, um, like that, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to our scalloped, and I'm just going to put a little bit in these little kind of larger spaces here. Oops, that might have gotten a little too much. And here in the circle, and that's where this is going to go. So that's just going to go back here like that. And then we'll put some more down here. And then I'm going to go ahead and flip it so I can see what I'm doing on the top side. And I liked using this scallop circle to come out just from the, it just kind of gives a little teeny tiny bit of a, um, well, a nice little scallop look. Make sure that sticks down. I think that's, I think that's good. And then I'm going to take my one inch punch. And that's going to go for my center. And then on my <clears throat> scrap here that I have, I'm going to stamp out this little word hello. Is it just perfect in the center of this? So instead of like, um, you know, punching and then stamping, I'm going to use my punch and then that way, hopefully I can get it pretty much centered in here. So that looks about right. And then I'm just going to use a little, um, Stampin' Dimensional. Oh, thanks Nikki. Hey, how you doing?
All right, so there's that. And then we're going to put some uh, more dimensionals on the back. Trying to look and see if I'm missing. Oh, I did. Let's see. I used the glitter glue for those places. Oh, I have never tried that, Linda. I've seen on some of the Facebook groups that I'm in um, that that comes highly recommended, but um, I guess I I have never seen it in person. All right. So that's just going to come here and I was going to show you, but I think I put it away because now I can't find it. Um, I did just kind of for fun. I took one of our doilies and I put the wink of Stella on it. Um, and then of course I set it aside and now I can't find it. I wish I could because the wink of Stella kind of turned out kind of pretty on that doily. Um, I wonder if I moved it over to my other desk. Oh, I might have. Hold on a second. Let me see. Oh, I did. Here. Okay. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. Um, well, and of course, now my hands have ink on them, so I've got it on here. But I think that kind of turned out pretty on the doily. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the shimmer. And all I did was this outer edge on there. So I kind of have debated on using this in the project. Um, but then I thought, well, maybe that's just too much shimmer going on. But I don't know if you can have too much shimmer. So, um, okay. And then the other thing I wanted to show you guys was for this one, I used the pearls um, that Stampin' Up! has. But I didn't have enough to do a second one. I didn't quite think it through. Um, so I wanted to show you the difference between with and without. I think the pearls really do add a lot of nice dimension to this, but I think even with, you know, the, uh, Wink of Stella on here, um, I think this is still beautiful even without the pearls. So, but, um, so we won't be adding the pearls on this one, but, but that is an option and you could probably do sparkles. I think sparkles might look really pretty on it too. All right, so let's go ahead and we are going to wrap some ribbon around our notebook before we move on. So I'm just going to bring out my big bin here and see if I can get that on there. Oh, it didn't even get on the other side. All right. So I'm just going to wrap this around here, hopefully about center, and scissors. Sorry, I just kind of threw that off to the side. Okay, and then again on this one, you guys are just going to want to make sure that you use plenty of adhesive um, to make sure that your notebook stays attached to your cardstock. So be, um, use a lot of it. I think I might even go, it's a good thing this stuff is inexpensive. <laughs> okay. And then that's just going to go centered-ish in here. Like yay. And... I had, I don't know, I kind of had to laugh. I'm not much of a person who layers a lot of things. So this was my best attempt at layering something. And you know what I forgot to do now that I'm looking at it? I probably should have opened that up earlier. Is I put, I put my tassel on. I think I'm just going to adhere it on. I'm just going to glue it um, because... Well, I could probably lift this. So I had it just attached to this ribbon here. So you probably would want to do this, I don't know, maybe before you adhere the ribbon down. Just a suggestion. 
I, <laughs> I know, Nikki. Bad, bad. That stuff is priceless. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, and then, you know, I have to laugh when I said that. I, my last... I think it was my last video I kept saying and then and then and then do this and then do that and after a while it was kind of I didn't realize I said it as much as I did when I was watching it back so maybe I need to figure out new transitions while <laughs> I'm going from one thing to the next and then you do this and then you do that so all right sorry I digress <laughs> oh man 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 okay so then I'm just gonna trim those little edges off and then I'm going to take a glue dot you know this is what I get for cleaning up my space before I have my Facebook live if you guys are joining me for the first time I promise I'm not usually this disorganized let's see so I'm just gonna use a little glue dot and stick it on top of where my tassel is. So like that. And then this little guy, which I stamped in Dapper Denim on this one, but it was actually in Tranquil Tight on that one, but I like it either way. So um, I think, I was trying to see how, I think I just used a glue dot. Maybe I used a couple of them just to stick in the middle of that bow. Hey, Marissa. Oh, you want to see the front? Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, thanks. Well, I was just, I was telling, I can't remember if I, I think I said it at the very beginning. Um, this came, this idea came from the notebook that you sent me. <laughs> so... I, I finally got my notebooks ordered and they came in today um, and I thought oh that's what I'm gonna do for Facebook live so yeah all right so, so thanks for the idea I'm not as good as at layering oh thank you Lisa I really appreciate that I just feel all discombobulated tonight um, I was going to see I put a little pearl in this but I think I'm just gonna leave this as is um, so that's basically just I might put a sparkle in there later um, so this is it this is the project I just thought it turned out really pretty um, so oh um and before I finish completely here I kind of wanted to show you a little sneak peek of a card that I made um, today and I kind of halfway debated on um, on whether or not I should do the the notebook and a card for Facebook live but with as much as I talk and as slow as I move <laughs> I thought we'd be here for the next five hours if I attempted to do, to do a card too um so um oh so I am I have a video put together of this that I'm gonna go ahead and post uh, tomorrow onto my blog and I'll post it here on my Facebook page too oh Marissa sorry you know when this came out I knew that I well okay I want I ordered it because I just wanted something new to play with to be honest with you I don't know how thrilled I was with the papers um, you know just viewing them online but I have to say I I really enjoy these papers and I love the you know dies and the stamp set and everything that go with this so I can't wait for it to come out and if you guys have missed it um, they are going to um, allow a pre-order for this paper pack. It's new for the 2017 catalog that comes out in June, but they're going to do a pre-order for the Eastern Palace suite uh, starting May 1st. So, um, yeah. So, cute, cute. Just absolutely love it. Thank you, Nikki. I know. Oh, they're asking about it? Oh, good. 
Yay. It's really pretty. It really is. But I have yet to use the, uh, the purple color in here. And forgive me, I'm a bad demonstrator. I don't know what that, I can't remember offhand what it's called. So. All right, let me see if I've missed any comments. I always feel bad because sometimes I come on later and I think, oh, I didn't see that comment, so. I'm still here. Well, good, I'm glad you guys like. Thank you. Oh, Fresh Fig, thank you, Marissa. <laughs> Marissa is my upline and uh, Nikki is one of my downline, so I have, uh, I have some demonstrators on here. They're fun girls, and they, they make this just such a joy to be part of. Um, thank you, Linda. I'm so glad that you think it is. I was, I was pretty tickled with it, especially throwing it together last minute because I forgot that tonight was Wednesday night. So, <laughs> all right, girls. Well... Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I really appreciate it. I do look forward to my uh, Wind Down Wednesdays. And I usually, after I'm done with this, because I don't drink my wine during Wind Down Wednesday, I, I go up and eat dinner and have my wine afterwards. Oh yeah, that's the great part about this, Linda, is... Um, you could use this with so many different papers. Let me, I have Marissa's here. Um, this was the one that Marissa sent to me. Um, so I just thought it was super cute. And I can't wait to make up a few more. And then this was the um, inside with my little wish list of the new stuff that's coming out. I think it's new stuff. Oh no, it's not. It's, it's from the other one. Um, so, but yeah, she put some twine and the little flower and a button in here. And this was, I just love that little hay chick. So, yep. And they'd make great gifts, great gifts. Oh, and I was thinking too, um, you know, Mother's Day is coming up. So I think this would make a great Mother's Day gift. Isn't it really cute, Nikki? Yeah, I know. So... I kept it kind of the same, and I I don't know how you do these layering banners, Marissa. I tried, and it just did not turn out right for me. <laughs> so I, I stuck with something a little bit more me, I guess. <laughs> All right, girls. I'll let you get back to your night and your families and your wine and... Just own it. <laughs> oh, goodness. I don't know. I'm going to try. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Oh, before I before you guys go, I guess, um, I don't know if you, any of you had a hard time getting on to my Facebook Live. Um, but I noticed, uh, I had a couple comments last week that there was, um, a couple that had a, pro uh, had a hard time getting in. Um, so, you know, if you do, I think when you're on the computer, if you just hit refresh, um, when you're on my Facebook page, it should refresh and do that. Um, and then if you want to have notifications when I go live, um, you have to go to my Facebook page and underneath where it says uh, liked or following, if you click on the following and it drops down, then you can click to receive notifications for when, um, when I post events or when I go live. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So, um, so just in case you want a notification when I go live next week. All right, that's it. I'm going to stop talking. Have a good night, girls. Thanks again. You're welcome, Lisa. We'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your night. Bye.